Hey guys, it's Psycho Hawk here, and welcome to an episode of Career Mode. And uh, this is gonna be a very, very exciting episode because we are finally playing uh, in the uh, the Europa League, and we're in the final, you know, in the really late knockout stages, and it's all getting extremely exciting. We have a quarter final game against our uh, our rivals in the league as well, Atletico Madrid. But uh, first, we're gonna take care of some business because the board has decided to put Zuma on the transfer list because I wouldn't offer him a new contract, and he also declined it. But um, um, I didn't have enough money to give it to him, you know, so I was, I was kind of in a shitty ass situation. So, um, I was like 50,000, you know, accept it with a 5% clean sheet bonus because I, I didn't want to waste all my wage budget on him, but I really want to keep him. So I was really, really hoping that he would accept that, but, uh, he was currently, uh, feeling quite unsettled then obviously. And, uh, he was still going to play though this game and, and, uh, he, you'll see he does ex exceptionally well this game, but, uh, Anyway, as you can see, my fitness wasn't exactly as good as it could have been, but uh, I do decide to play with my strongest lineup because that's what we need. And, um, and uh, yeah, obviously, uh, this is the, the second leg. And uh, in the first leg, they had um, uh, they had beaten me 2-0. Uh, and um, But it all starts off very well as May Malango gets the ball in the 25th minute and slots it into the bottom corner to put us to 2-1 on aggregate, still down, but but a very promising start. And, and this really gave me, you know, like a yes, I can I can do this feeling. And uh, that, that was very, very important. And I, to be fair, in this game, I was doing extremely well. In the 27th minute, Nahar is through on goal, but he doesn't manage to finish, which was a letdown because if in the 27th minute we have cut down that aggregate that would have been fantastic we whip in the corner Lukaku's there and then Zuma gets a ball onto it but he doesn't manage to finish it he plays it to Borja Lopez who uh, then takes a shot but it's also blocked and that uh, that chance kind of whistles out but then we have another chance here as Lukaku takes a strike but a fantastic save by the Atletico Madrid goalkeeper manages to keep the ball out of the back of the net and we whip in the corner again and there's Borja Lopez but again a fantastic save and this was getting a little bit frustrating until Lukaku cuts no no, you have to be kidding me. He, he dummies the defender, and the defender's uh, shit, and then he just misses. But uh, Lukaku, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still suffering from a bit of sickness, but Lukaku then again does really well in the second half, but uh, only gets us a corner, and Atletico, Atletico Madrid do some changes, sorry. And, uh, you know, but we're still looking for that goal, and we're into the 71st minute, and I'm getting really frustrated and scared. Am I not going to get this? And and they clear the ball, and I'm like, nah, shit. And I play the ball to Muniain, who takes a fantastic shot on Shirley, but no, their keeper is on fire, absolutely overpowered keeping. And uh, Nahar whips in the corner. Can I get ahead to it? Yes. Kurt Zuma, the guy who has been extremely unsettled, um, finally actually manages... It's not actually him that gets ahead to it. It's Borja Lopez, and then it bounces off Kurt Zuma's head into the back of the net. So he gives us the goal to make it 2-0, and I was so relieved at that point and uh, so happy that I got a little lucky there as well. But then some bad news as Muniain gets injured uh, playing on that left wing, and that's not good news at all. Not for this game, not for the future if he's injured for a long period of time. And that also instigated that uh, I brought on Monday just because I think it was Casemiro who was very, very tired at this moment. And this was in the 90th minute, mind you. So uh, we're looking at, at extra time at this point, and uh, even possibly penalties if no one manages to score. And they took off Falcao, which was uh, kind of a relief for me. But, but that was uh, full time. Uh, An aggregate 2-2, which meant that we were going into extra time, and this was extremely nerve-wracking. You know, I was I was not sure, like, if I was going to make it, if not, in extra time. You never know what's going to happen. I brought on Benzia for Marin Ruiz, and Benzia played in that camp position. But nothing happened during extra time. I was extremely cautious, and that means that we're going into penalties. And my lord, mighty... This is nerve-wracking. I, I was controlling the game, as you saw. There are 10 shots, 5 on target, and uh, they had 1 shot and 0 on target. So, And uh, I was kind of looking through my penalty takers. And, and, you know, about penalties, I usually like putting my my uh, best penalty taker third or fourth. That usually gives me a bit more confidence. I usually start off with like my second best, then third best, and then I like to have maybe my fourth best or my best player. Um, it just gives me my confidence that I know that if I miss in the beginning, I still have a good player that can easily score penalties for me. Lukaku starts off, and yes, he finishes into the top left corner. Fantastic penalty there from Lukaku, and the keeper guesses the wrong way. So... <coughs> It was okay in that fact. And then Turan comes up. Can Butlin save it? He stops. And yes, he can. He stutters in the run-up. But Butlin still manages to pull off a fantastic save. Guessing the right way. And giving us the 1-0 read right in the early stages of the penalty shootout. Which is always fantastic. And then Nahar slots it in. 
into the middle of the net, which again was extremely good, and we're up 2-0. If we save this, we're looking extremely well, but Linguess is wrong, but no, he manages to get his foot on it after the ball goes down the middle, and uh, somehow he saves it with his foot, even though he guessed one way, so that was extremely lucky. And then Benzia, he puts it into the back of the net to make it 3-0, and that means that they, Atletico Madrid, they have to score. They haven't scored a single penalty yet. Uh, Butlin was on fire during this game, uh, or during this penalty shootout, more like, and uh, he gets his hands onto it, but he still doesn't manage to get it and you can see how disappointed he is with himself uh extremely disappointing but Kurt Zuma if he scores weird through and Kurt Zuma the guy who scored the 2-0 goal for me the guy who's been extremely unsettled scores the penalty and puts us through into the semi-finals of the Euro Europa League uh and uh this was just a nerve-wracking game but but I was so so relieved when I scored that look at that the team celebrating we're in the semi-finals and it's all very very exciting um, that was a great, great game to play, and uh, I'm really happy that we're through, but we're gonna not going to have an easy semifinal as our opponents are going to be none other than Paris Saint-Germain or PSG with players like Lovetsi, Pastore, um, Verratti, and none other than, obviously, the absolute monster that is Slatan Ibrahimovic. So that's something that we're looking forward to a lot, and then some more bad news as... Uh, Muniain has a torn hamstring and he's going to be out for three months so that's until the end of la next season so so we're going to have to do without him and that's hard and then Kurzuma says and he wants to leave the club and I was extremely extremely disappointed by that but uh, usually they do that if you don't offer them what they want uh, he refused his contract and he's such a good player he's already 82 overall I just said no man I'm just going to splash out the cash I offer him 60k uh, which is what he wants for three years and see maybe if he will change his mind for that offer and uh, you guys will have to wait and see and then we we played a league game, which I don't want to show you guys. Uh, it was a very boring game, and Kurzakov scored kind of a scrappy goal. And we win 1-0 against Real Betis. Uh, at this point, I just kind of want to show you the important game. So, uh, But I still want to show you the results, you know. So so that that was uh, obviously a good win that we're also managing to grind out the results in the league, um, which is always extremely important. But then Kurzuma has said that he's decided to sign the contract 60K. That's a 45K um 45k raise which is per week which is a lot of money and he should be fucking happy with himself but player returns from injuring Kaneya who you guys might have forgotten but he's been injured for a long long time our our uh, left back Kaneya so uh he's been injured and he's finally back which means that we can finally have Luis Eduardo and Kurt Zuma play in the middle there and then have uh we don't need to play Borja Lopez anymore, which is, uh, he's not a bad player, but but he's not, you know, he's not up to the standards of the rest of the team. So so it's good that we got Kanea back towards the, the, the final run-in of the season where we're still challenging for top four spot. Maybe even the title because we're doing so well in the league right now. And obviously, and most importantly, the Europa League champions. Uh, and uh, speaking of Europa League, this is it. Thiago Silva there, and God, their team is so, so strong. Sissoko, uh, Thiago Silva, Ibrahimovic, just a fantastic, fantastic team. And the semifinal uh, play-up is going to be extremely, extremely difficult. And again, I'm just having so many games to play. Um... <coughs> I'm having huge, huge fitness issues, so I'm really have to, having to shuffle around the squad, and uh, my players will really, really have to perform at their best, um, at their their best of ability, because otherwise, you know, even even I'm gonna have to play some reserves and you know some big games, and they're really gonna have to perform. So so it was not gonna be an easy game against PSG, but but I was confident. I thought if we keep Ibrahimovic under control, if we keep Lavezzi under control, if Lukaku manages to break the beast, the captain that is Thiago Silva, we could have a chance to go through. And um, you know, it, you'll have to wait and see. Until the next episode, guys. I I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but that's how it is. And uh, in the next episode, you guys will see whether we manage to be PSG or not. If you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Uh, also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I hope you all have a very, very good day. Bye-bye.